also to the Championship then. We'll start at the top, the right end. Only three years ago, Hull were in the Premier League. Since then, they've been just days away from financial meltdown, but a new owner and a new manager have steered the Tigers back to the top league. The scenario, well, it was simple. Hull had to match or better Watford's result against Leeds. But as Paul Barnes reports, it's often more entertaining to do it the hard way. Tension, excitement, belief. Hull fans arrived at the KC Stadium hoping to watch their club win promotion to English football's top flight for just the second time in their history. Hull's form going into their final league match of the season hasn't been great. In fact, they haven't even scored in their last three matches. But their destiny is in their own hands. Win at home to Cardiff this afternoon and they're back in the big time. This is bigger than the last time. I mean, we went to Wembley last time and did it there. But uh, this is bigger. I'm sweating a bit. I'm really am. It's it's the tension's getting to me. It is. I, I hardly slept last night. It's all about today's performance. If we don't do it today, I don't want to. I don't even want to think about it. You know. Come on. Joins us just 10 minutes before kickoff. Dean, you were the hero the last time Hull were promoted. Who's going to be the hero this afternoon? Somebody could be, obviously, uh, could be a legend again, you know, in Hull. Takes my status off me then, you know what I mean? But listen, it's a massive game, and uh, hopefully, somebody uh, will score the winning goal. You know, it's one of them games where it's, uh, yeah, you, if you win the game, then brilliant. It's, it's, it's fantastic then. But if you don't, then obviously, it's no disgrace in the playoffs. but. You've got to win the game today, you know what I mean? And that's the most important thing. A sellout crowd greeted the Hull players as they took to the pitch, but with Watford determined to ruin the Tigers' promotion party, attention was also focused on developments in Vicarage Road, where Leeds were the visitors. It was a nervy opening in East Yorkshire. Hull did have the ball in the Cardiff net, but it was ruled offside. Down at Watford, they were running 15 minutes behind after the game was stopped when homekeeper Jonathan Bond was stretchered off. Third choice goalie Jack Bonham took his place and he was partly at fault for Leeds' opening goal, Dominic Polion with a simple finish. As things stood, Hull were going up. But just three minutes later, Watford were level. Alman Abdi with a delightful finish from 20 yards. Back to the KC, where the home fans were desperate for an opening goal at the start of the second half. It duly arrived, but it came for their opponents. And it was former Tiger Fraser Campbell who looked like he might be sending Hull to the playoffs. But with 40 minutes still to play, there was plenty of time for the Tigers to come roaring back. When Nick Proshvitz turned in Stephen Quinn's cross just after the hour mark, Hull's Premier League dream was back on. By this stage, the pressure on Cardiff's goal was relentless, and it was little surprise when Hull took the lead. Robbie Brady's corner was met by Paul McShane, and it was almost mission accomplished. But that was only the beginning of the drama. Hull were awarded a penalty in the dying moments to seal promotion, but Crossfit's effort was palmed away by David Marshall. And when Cardiff were awarded a spot kick of their own just seconds later, the dream looked as if it could turn into a nightmare. Nicky Maynard converted from 12 yards to deny the hosts that vital three points. It finished 2-2, but with the match at Watford running 15 minutes behind, it was now a nervous wait to see if Leeds could give their fellow Yorkshiremen a helping hand. And thanks to the efforts of Ross McCormack and a howler from Watford's keeper, United's 2-1 victory prompted wild celebrations 200 miles north. Yeah! 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 That was quite 
calm when we missed the initial penalty, but when they got another one, I was thinking, oh my God, uh, is there going to be any more dramas here? But thankfully we've done it and uh, we can enjoy tonight, well, enjoy the next few nights. I lost in two playoff finals in the last four years and I thought we weren't going to do it at the end, but you know, the lads dug in and Leeds did us a massive favour, so this, I've been waiting for this for seven years and for it to come through, it's, it's amazing, look at this, it's amazing. Against Manchester United, Chelsea, Arsenal here next season, what does it mean? Amazing. You grow up as a kid wanting to play in them games, you know? And to get there, it's frightening. Like, look at this, look at this. Unbelievable. It's ev everything you ever dream of. That's why you played again. I came here to play Premiership football, and uh, you can see it by the fans, it means so much to everyone. It's one of my brightest moments in my life. <laughs> we achieved what we want is spend the money, spend a lot of money for this, for my people here. It's worthwhile to see all these fans, all these people from my community. Uh, I feel I paid back. When you missed that penalty to make it 3-1 and then Cardiff converted there just moments later, what was going through your head? What the hell am I doing this for? <laughs> Is it better to be working for BBC Radio 5 Live and sit next to Alan Green? All them things were just, ah, it's just quite incredible. But I've only been at the club 12 months, but over its hundred and odd year history, I think it's never done things very easily. But to be promoted for the first time, um, to get this way rather than playoffs is, is terrific and I'm delighted for everybody because after being in the area for the last 12 months, I understand how difficult it is. We have the highest rate of unemployment in the country and it's difficult for a lot of people, but at least we can, they can have a bit of pride today that their football team's in the Premier League, which is terrific for them.